24 years ago, Strictly Ballroom, a small independent Australian film set in the world of competitive ballroom dancing, became a hit all over the world. I want to dance with you your way. Two years ago, the movie was turned into a smash hit musical in its native Australia. Today, I'm in Leeds as the show prepares to make its UK premiere. I'm going to have a sneak peek at the cast in rehearsals and find out a bit more about the show. The UK production is in the capable hands of director and choreographer Drew McConey, whose impressive CV includes hits like Hairspray and Chicago. Strictly Ballroom is a colourfully chaotic, whirling, waltzing, theatrical production that uh, centres around a maverick ballroom dancer who has hopes to change the world. It tells the story of a dancer, Scott Hastings, and his desire to make a mark in the ballroom world. I've been taking a look around the wardrobe department, and guess who I bumped into? Sam, who plays Scott. Tell me, have you ever done any ballroom dancing before? I've, I've done a little bit. Mm -hmm. Most of my training's in, you know, ballet and jazz. Yeah. But it's very different. Ballet, everything's very turned out, and, and ballroom, it's very turned in and propped yeah. up. And yeah. So it, it's taken some adjusting. Gemma Sutton plays the role of Fran, the ugly duckling beginner dancer who blossoms as she trains in secret with Scott. She's a proper wallflower and no one really notices her, but she really admires Scott Tastings and they strike up a friendship. And so between them, they create this unique style of yeah. dance. If we've got fans of Strictly Come Dancing coming to watch Strictly Boring, what are they going to recognise? The great thing about Strictly Come Dancing is it's educating audiences to understand the terminology and the technique required for the Paso Doble and the rumba and the Viennese waltz, and they'll get to be able to see all of those. Everyone loves to watch that fire, that energy, yeah. that, that elegance that, that everyone sees when they watch ballroom dancing, and of course there's tons of that in this show. I have loved watching Strictly Come Dancing this year, knowing that I was going to go through a similar process yeah. to how, you know, your celebrities have, getting into the world of, of, of boring dancing. So, here we are putting on Geeky Fran. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I suppose it's the glasses that's going to be the big oh, thing, isn't go. it? There she is. <laughs> moment of truth. That's <laughs> <Yes>, Fran. <laughs> Now, I've just noticed the oh, jacket. Oh, that's probably my favorite piece in the show. When you wear it, you feel very powerful. Do you think I could try it on? I think you should. Wow. Yeah. I can imagine that moment now uh -huh. sliding on my knees yes. across the middle of the floor. You feel it. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Could you tell us what's your favourite part in the show? Probably the time after time sequence mm. because it's the first time that we see that there might be a hint of romance. You lost, you can look and you will find me time after time. You know, everybody falls in love for the first time once, and I think that what's so kind of iconic about that moment is we've all been there, I mean, maybe not up on the roof doing the rumba, but I think that's why it has connected with so many people for such a long time. Thanks to everyone here for showing me a unique take on a world I know so well, and good luck to the cast and crew. Can't wait to see the show. <laughs>